Hey guys, this is Shy, and today we are doing two keys in one video because they are completely intertwined, completely intertwined. Key number 14 is an oversole alignment where your oversole basically comes down and becomes like a donut, <laughs> a donut around you. That's what it, that's what it feels like to me. It's like a donut. Um, to be an interface between you and your reality. And it's not that you're putting a barrier between you and your reality. It's that you are allowing the part of yourself, the part your oversoul is you. So you're allowing the part of yourself that understands the big picture. You're, you're taking your big picture mind and wrapping it around you so that you can not <laughs> fall into all of the little traps of human existence so that you can flow in a life of synchronicity, right? And the other part of this is key number, that's 15, is it's like a data removal, okay? And I'm gonna, there's, this video is gonna be in two parts and it's not splitting one key and then the other key, it's that there's just, I'm gonna be telling a story and doing my talking thing and then I'm gonna do a silent energy transmission um, at the end because I'm really enjoying doing that actually. I find that I can just focus more on just transmitting the energy if I'm not talking. And it, I am, um, you know, for anybody who enjoys that is really beneficial for you if, no, if I'm not talking at you because then you're just simply receiving the energy and then you get to co-create with that as you will. And it's not somebody telling you what's happening. It's that, you know, you and all of your higher consciousness gets to work with the energy in a much more like organic and way that is authentic to you and you get to have your own experiences. And at this level of like frequency range, that's really what, it's really what it's all about, right? So <laughs> that's, um, that's what's happening. And first I'm just gonna talk about basically setting up the scene, setting up what this is about and explaining the story of what happened to me last night and how I got <laughs> to understand that this is the video I'm meant to make today. So, <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> you know, it just, it just makes me giggle. I'm finding so hard that the, the silver ray is just lightheartedness, like so, like the beings are like hysterically funny. It, it, they just have me laughing all the time and I just want to go around giggling all the time. I've just been kind of on an energy high and it's just giggly. But the really cool thing is that it's not like unmanageable. It's not manic energy. It's not like off the charts. It's just keeping me in this like kind of fairy tale <laughs> kind of like giggly, g giggly thing going on. So, so anyway, this all started yesterday when um, I was receiving messages about like I, that I was going to be learning something new about one of my functions, you know, one of the things that I do as a blob of energy in the universe, right? And they told me that I was gonna be learning how I function as a waste management system, okay? And I was like, waste management, really guys? Like that, that's what she got? And um, if you've heard me talk about in the past about how I used to not really receive like English messages from my guides, that's been changing for me. I mean, I still don't don't typically hear it like out loud, out loud, out loud, like really clear, clear audience, but I really am so much more confident than I was like even four months ago with receiving um, verbal messages. Um, like using my inner hearing, right? Um, so, so I, I like the, the term, the words I use in this video are really like the words that they chose and sent and like, you know, transmitted to me. So they called me uh, like, I'm going to be learning about waste management. And I was just like, <laughs> like garbage trucks, like picking up garbage, right? <laughs> like, and like sewage systems. Is that, that's like my spiritual lesson of the week. Like really guys? And they're like, yep. <laughs> so I'm like, uh, okay, well, you know, what, whatever. And uh, I go to sleep. Um, in the middle of the night though, it's like 1.30 in the morning, I am w woken up and I felt this energy, this like frequency coming in and it was basically saying, this was not the silver ray, these were some like 5D like physical beings. Um, that were beaming me th this message saying like, hey, hey, you wanna like hold on to my flash drive for me? And I could tell that if I consented to this, they were going to like insert some data into my consciousness. And you know, cause I was still kind of asleep 
And I was just like, and it seemed kind of, they made it sound so reasonable, right? And I was like, I, I almost, I almost consented, but then like I snapped awake and I was like, <laughs> now I'm all triggered, right? I'm going, what is going on here? Why is somebody trying to insert data into my consciousness and trying to do it all sneaky like, right? So I don't, I'm out of bed now. I'm turning the lights on. I'm flipping tarot cards and I'm all like get ready to like to throw down in like psychic battle. right? But you know, this whole time in the back of my head, I'm like, you know, what is the, I've talked about this in a few videos ago, right? What is the lesson I always, 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 always learn when I feel like I'm being psychically attacked, right? It's never what it seems. It's never that bad. And even if it is a being with nefarious intent, it ends up not being as bad as I think it is, right? So I flip up all my cards like a crazy person, like at two in the morning. And, um, uh, you know, all the cards are like, you know, this was, this is all fine. You're good. Nothing happened to you. And so like I calmed down and I started to feel like, okay, I'd sort through it. Um, <laughs> and now that I've had a whole day to feel into it, I understand that those beings that were going to like, give me their flash drive, right? Insert this data into me that it, it wasn't really like that nefarious. It was like kind of like a practical joke, like, like from beings that are kind of like my, my star friends, right? It was like a practical joke. And it was kind of like the energy of a little brother, like pulling a prank on you, like maybe a little brother, like running into your room and like throwing stuff everywhere and then leaving. It would have been like that level, but I didn't even like, I, I, I didn't allow it to happen. So I didn't even have to worry about it at all. But I very quickly understood why I had this experience because now I get back into bed and I'm trying to relax and now I'm all worried about like, you know, the integrity of my data banks, right? <laughs> and um, so I remember what they say, what they said about learning about waste management. And so I'm thinking like, okay, they, they gave me this metaphor of like, gonna give you a flash drive. And I'm like, okay, but I need to like, I wanted to like find a new way to clean up my, my hard drive, right? Like clean up the data in my, in my psychic, you know, etheric data bank. I wanted to make sure I was all clear. And to make a long story short, uh, a bunch of other things I've been going through the past few days have really made me realize that there are, even though I feel for the most part that I am, that I show up pretty much every day, like as my authentic self and that I am pretty clear on who I am and like what's, what's me and what's not me. Um, I really realized that there are certain things about myself that I am still not really willing to look at and things about myself that have been buried so deep and that I've been still like, and it's like another layer of authenticity coming forth and another layer of removing social conditioning. And like, it's like, just, it doesn't matter how many times you've done this, right? There's always another layer, another layer. And I know there's going to be more layers again in the future. We're just like peeling back the layers of the onion. So lying in bed and I'm thinking, okay, there's like, code, <laughs> you know, there, there's data, there are frequencies, there are ideas and thoughts and things that I'm holding on to that aren't mine and that they are interfering with my ability to be, to really see myself for who I, who I am and to really, really, really be like completely honest about who I am and, and all of that, right? Coming into a higher level of authenticity. And I understood that this is also, this is how the, the data removal thing is connected to the oversoul alignment because if I'm running all of these old scripts um, and all of these frequencies that aren't mine and holding on to all this stuff that isn't mine and if I'm not being my most authentic self, then then my oversoul can't like merge with me as fully, right? Because it's like there's sand in the gears. All this all this data that's not mine, all this garbage, it's like like literally like sand in gears. And so my oversoul can't can't meld with me the way I would like my oversoul to meld with me. So I call in all my people, you know, all, all beings, and I'm like, I'm I'm looking to do some energy work to, you know, do waste management, to do data removal. And I felt these beings come in. They were they were silver ray beings, and um, but they were like I, they just called themselves, honestly, they showed up and they were like, I was like, Hey guys, can I get like, can I meet the silver Ray, like healing collective? I was like, who, who are the silver Ray healers? I would like to meet them. Like, can I get you guys to come down and introduce yourselves? Right. <laughs> and it was like, I, it's like they picked up the phone and were like, uh, housekeeping. <laughs> That's what they called themselves. They said housekeeping. And there were these like balls of fluffy white light that just like came in. And I was like, you guys are housekeeping. That's really what you're going to call yourselves. And I'm like, yeah, we're like the janitors. We're the cleaners. The cleaners is what they were saying. We, we just were the cleanup crew. We clean stuff. And of course, like I'm laughing now, right? Because this is so funny because 
in all of my previous experiences, I always felt like there was supposed to be a level of like seriousness and, you know, as if, as if higher frequency beings need you to take them seriously, as if it's respectful to take them seriously. And I felt like there was like this protocol with these guys. They were like, no, we're just the janitors. You know, we're just here to clean some stuff up. We're just the cleaners. We're housekeeping. We're like cosmic housekeeping. You know? It's like, yeah, you can just call on us every time you need a spill cleaned up in aisle five. It was, they were like that. They were like so funny. And I kept trying to call them something like, you know, come up with some kind of serious thing to call them. And they're like, no, 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 no. You got to let go of this serious business. Like nothing is serious. That's why we're so funny all the time, right? Funny, funny, funny. Everything should be lighthearted. Seriousness keeps you down. Like, there's no reason to be serious about high frequency beings or higher higher energy beings it's like there's no seriousness keeps you down like like they were so clear in that so like yeah like we just see ourselves as like these cosmic housekeeping cleanup crew and that's how you should look at us and that's cool and we're here to like help clean your clean your hard drive out and <laughs> and um so i felt them like these balls of fluffy white light that's how i saw them you guys could see them as something else you know there was no one way of seeing any of this um, but that's how I saw them and they were going through and they were showing me what they were doing. It was like there were these like black, like brittle, I mean black only because they were like, like there were energetic structures all through my consciousness and they had, but they were ones that I, structures that I'm no longer using, right? Structures that I'm no longer using. So they had been like dissolving and kind of decaying and they would have eventually decayed on their own. But the balls of fluffy white light, like galactic housekeeping came in and was like, just erasing it it was like erasing like they were like magic erasers going through just erasing all of this kind of like dusty brittle no longer used streams of consciousness all these connections in my consciousness that i didn't need anymore they were getting rid of that and they were also calling up like old memories i didn't need anymore doing more of that and um finding like lines of code like programs and that i didn't need that weren't mine that weren't mine and that's the important thing. Um, how do you tell what's mine, right? It's not what is mine on an ego level. It's literally like what is mine on the oversoul level. That's why this is part of the oversoul alignment because they're basically looking at my oversoul blueprint, like my meta archetype. And for anybody who's wondering, um, I think, you know, there are like many layers to our oversouls and it's really beyond the human mind's understanding. But I just use that word to indicate like it's like your higher self's higher self like a much 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 non-physical completely like the like massively abstract level of your consciousness right so it's like getting to your more primordial blueprint and they were basically using that to go okay that's not yours that's not yours that's not yours and it was getting rid of all of this stuff it's like going through your phone and deleting apps you don't use right all of that stuff or apps that somebody else came installed on your phone if you've ever had somebody do that like install apps on your phone um, yeah, it's getting rid of all that kind of stuff. So, and as this was happening, I felt like as all of this stuff was like shooting out of me that I no longer needed and I could feel the silvery, like pillowy, foggy energy of my oversoul like coming in and like wrapping me like a blanket and being like, like a donut or you might call it like a, like a Taurus shape, right? Like the the Taurus tube, you know, like the toroidal field, <laughs> that kind of shape coming in around me. And it was all like thick, like a warm blanket, like, like a marshmallow <laughs> is what it felt like. I don't know what your oversoul will feel like um, when it comes to hanging around with you. And I, but that's what mine felt like. And it, and it was like, how do I explain why, why this is important? It's like, that that oversoul donut around me is like an interface so that I don't need to like <laughs> do really anything um even though like I'm at the center of it all right I'm at the middle of everything I'm in the middle of the center of my own experience and we know how important that is like that I have penetrated to the middle of my experience I am the one calling the shots because it all ripples out from me. So, you know, me in my human body is still like in control of where I'm going, what I'm doing. It's not like I'm surrendering control to my oversoul. It's like that my oversoul is another layer of myself, but it's using its big picture. It's all about its big picture. So if I say, okay, I want to tune into my highest possible ascension timeline <laughs> to just pick something, right? 
And I'm just like, that's where I want to go. So it's like, okay, I set the intention, I set the goal. And then, but I, then how am I like as a human, right? How am I supposed to figure out how to do that? I can't figure that out with my mind. <laughs> that's impossible. I don't even really, like, I don't know what's involved there. So this interface of my, this donut interface of my oversoul is going to handle the details of how to get me to where I want to go. In which case, let's say like best feeling ascension timeline for everybody on the planet who wants to ascend something like that, right? <laughs> It will figure out the details because it has the massively multi-dimensional top-down perspective to do that, um, which means I basically just have to set an intention and then go for the ride. So <laughs> that is the ultimate goal of doing all this, of doing the oversoul alignment and then um, but, and, and simultaneously deleting all of this data that is not yours and that is preventing your oversoul from surrounding you like this beautiful protective donut of awesomeness. <laughs> oh yeah, that is basically the story of how I got to this moment here. So the rest of this is going to be silent. If you would like, you can also receive this energy um, when you're falling asleep tonight because this will integrate when you sleep, absolutely integrate when you sleep. Um, one thing I didn't mention is, yeah, after I finally fell asleep, after all of this happened, um, I was like going through, flicking through dreams, um, meeting meeting all these people I used to be, I used to know from, you know, years ago, people I went to high school with and elementary school with and stuff. And I, every time I, I would hug them, and then every time we hugged, we would like explode with light and then I would skip to the next person. So um, this is definitely gonna integrate in your sleep state. Um, yeah, so feel free to do this when you're asleep. And you know, if you don't want to like, even though it's silent, if you don't want to watch me gesture and do the energy, you're still going to be receiving it. You just, you could even just like put the phone next to your, next to your bed and just feel the energy because it's just, you can receive all of this yourself anyway. You don't even need me to be doing it, which is another reason why it's going to be silent. So at this point, just know that we are, Surrounded in a field of light. Completely safe, completely protected. By the light emanating from your own heart center. No other protection is needed. That is your ultimate safe space. And that we are inviting in your personal, your unique personal, healing team and guides to help guide the data removal process, removing only the data that is holding you back, the data that is no longer needed on your best feeling ascension pathway allowing your own oversoul to decide what stays and what goes and inviting your oversoul to flow down through your crown, through your chakras, flooding your chakra system and then folding up around you, fully, fully, fully guiding this process from your highest dimensional perspective for your highest good. Thank you for joining me in this work today. Thank you. Silver sun beings of light. If you would like to proceed with this work of removing data that no longer serves you and that is not yours and inviting your oversoul to meld with you in your own perfect timing to the degree that you can stabilize in your human vessel. Just give us a yes. Thank you, welcome. Get comfortable. 
and co-create with this energetic vortex as feels right for you. I love you.